Hey, welcome back. This is video four, box contents. In the last video, we created our shipments and moved on to the box contents page, which is where we are now. And so this is uh, also a very simple process. Uh, you basically will select one of your shipments. Now, if you have more than three, make sure you scroll up or down to get to all of them. We only display the first three here. So let's just start with number one. So on this one, I know I've got 11 going to TEB9. And we already create the first box for you in each of the shipments. You can see when I click on each one has the first box created. And so to add items to the batch, I can click here and then it has the box number. And I can select here and say I'm just going to put five in this first box. So you see I have five assigned in green. The gray means I have some unassigned and also it tells me right here down at the bottom left that there are six left to assign. So let's say these five only fit in the first box so I need to create a new one. Very simply I just click new. How many boxes do I want? In this case I want one. And now when I go to assign it automatically defaults to the latest box created which is two. All six of these will fit in there so I'm just going to go ahead and assign them. And now I have two boxes for this shipment. Box contents is assigned. You can see in box two gives me the estimated contents weight, total buy cost value, as well as list price value, and it displays the FN SKU. Um, if I need to change that to M SKU, I can show the M SKU instead by going right there. And same information when I click on the little I for shipment one has that same information. More of these tools and how to use them will be detailed in a customer coaching class. So make sure you sign up for one of those and uh, it'll get you into more of the details on box contents. There are some tips and tricks that we like to relay to our users. But for now, this is a simple shipment just to get you started. And this is basically how you assign your box contents. And once I've assigned my box contents, now the next step is to transmit that to Amazon. So I'm going to go up here to the transmit boxes. The best option is to transmit each box as you're done. You also note that there's a transmit all boxes here. However, if any of the shipments have an error when you send to Amazon and Amazon kicks it back, you only want it to affect the one shipment that you sent. If I were to add box contents to all three and then clicked on the transmit all, if there is a problem in just one shipment, it would prevent all three shipments from sending box contents. So the best bet is to just transmit boxes. And when I do, it's going to be defaulted to SPD Partner Carrier, and that's what you want to use. These other options will be gone over in our shipping class and customer coaching, so make sure to check that out. Uh, but for now, we're going to input the weight. Now, just like in Seller Central, I can put the weight up here and the dimensions and you'll notice that it fills all the way down. Now, if there's some minor variations, I can just change. Maybe this one was actually 25 pounds. Simple to change going in there. You'll note that the feeds are processing, so I can't send this into Amazon yet. I have to wait until Amazon accepts those. So for right now, I've got my weight and dimensions for all the boxes. I've set those aside. I'm just gonna cancel for now. Don't worry, this is saved. So I'm gonna cancel for now go back to my box contents page and I'm going to work on shipment number two. This has 58, so obviously I'm going to need more boxes. Now here's the success message. And so I can wait until I'm done with box contents on this second one, or I can just go ahead and finish up shipment one since I've got the success message. So if I want to do that, I'm going to click transmit boxes. It takes me right back and you can see that these are still there. I've got estimate charges here. And this is for that shipment. I can match up this shipment ID with the shipment ID at the top. I'm going to go ahead and clear that. Next step is to estimate charges. Now we're communicating with Amazon through the partnered carrier to get that discount that Amazon offers. You get that all through uh, doing this process just like you would in Seller Central. And this shows the process. Shipment carrier, number of boxes, total pounds, estimated shipping costs. This would be where you'd estimate your cost per pound. So in this case, let's pull up the calculator. 
and I have 33.22 for my cost divided by 45. So my estimated shipping cost is 74 cents per pound on this one. I had it set at 80, so it's pretty close. Uh, the ship from address is where you're going to be dropping it off. And if I accept the charges, I click here. Now there's the warning. You have 24 hours to void the shipping label charges and make changes to your shipment once these charges are accepted. And it just makes sure you're ready. So I'm going to click yes. Now you'll note that it's ready for carrier, so it changes to green. It's ready to be dropped off. So where are my shipping labels? Well, you may not have seen this, but at the top in my URL uh, in the website, it had a pop-up or blocked. And so what you need to do is make sure pop-up are not blocked. And so what I'm going to do is go to my settings. And that's fine, but I want to make sure that pop-up windows are not blocked. So I'm going to allow those. Okay. And now, um, how do I get my shipping labels? It's very easy. Go to inbound shipping. This will list all of my shipments as well as the cost and I can reprint those. You can see the icon here. So I'm just going to click here. I want to allow. You only have to do this once and now my labels are located in my downloads folder. And let me bring those over to you. And so this, of course, is your FBA label. It goes in the upper left. And then this is the shipping label for the box in the center. And so we're going back to the list and prep page. Again, I click on the shipment I'm going to work on. Let's say I can fit six of those. Okay, I have 52 left. Well, I know I'm going to have six items Per box and then one box will be a little bit less. So what I can also do now is to make it easy, click over here on the tool icon, copy box. How many boxes would you like to create? I have 52 items. I need six per box. We've already kind of done the math. So you can create, copy, and create eight boxes. So I'm going to do that. It's all done for me. Six more in there and this last one. Since I can't assign it to nine, I need to create one box. And you'll notice it's 10. Go ahead and assign that. And now my quantity left to assign is zero. And so I'm ready to go to transmit boxes. And again, they're all about the same. Let's say they're 30 pounds each, and I've got them in uh, 20 by 20 by 20. The last box, however, only has four, so let's just say that's only 25. Now again, feeds are processing, so I can't send this to Amazon. I could cancel, go back, finish that third one up, but let's say I wait because it doesn't, it seems like these feeds are processing fairly quickly, so I'm just gonna wait until those are done and wait for it to show up here. Okay, we've got our success, and so it's all set. Clear that out, I'm gonna estimate charges. Estimation for the shipment, 295 pounds, that's 166. And with this one, it's about 56 cents per pound estimated shipping. So I'll save a little money the more I ship. Everything else looks good again, except the charges. Yes, I know I have to cancel within 24 hours. And then my label sprint. So I can go up here, go to the downloads, and here you have all of the labels for those boxes. Okay, that one's all done. I only have one left to do. For this last one, we're gonna go over this in the last video. There's a few other items I wanted to cover. So in the interest of time, I'll complete this one, purchase the shipping, and then show you what happens next. And you'll see that this is the last one, still is working. These two are ready to ship. And so I'll see you in the next video.